Kristen Balboni here with two very special guests, Eleanor and her mom, Sarah. Eleanor is our key pounding kid this week from Atrium Health Levine Children's Hospital. Eleanor, Sarah, it is so nice to meet you. Thank you so much for, for talking with me today. I'm honored. Well, it's so nice to meet you. What do you think? Are you like happy to do the video? Yeah. <laughs> well, we are happy to talk to you. And Eleanor, you got your unicorn shirt on. I've got my Panther shirt on. You got your bow in. We both had oatmeal for breakfast and we are ready to talk. <laughs> I, I'm not wearing a shirt, I'm wearing a dress. It's a dress? Yep. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And your mom said that it's your favorite dress. You picked it out especially for today? Yeah. Well, Sarah, um, as you know, and Eleanor, as you know, our Keep Pounding Kid every week is um, a kid that just exemplifies what we call our Keep Pounding Spirit, which is courageousness, fearlessness, never giving up in the face of hard times. And we have heard so much about how Eleanor is that the perfect personification of the Keep Pounding Kid. And Sarah, I'm hoping you can tell me just what makes Eleanor so amazing, so awesome, and why she was nominated um, to lead the team this week. Well, Eleanor was diagnosed with neuroblastoma stage four at three months old. And so she started pretty young with her battle and then she relapsed at a one and a half. And she just has always been so brave. She um, went through lots of treatment, lots of surgeries, radiation. I, I don't like having surgery. She does not like having surgery, right? But she just fought strong and she kept smiling and dancing along the way and she just always has been so brave, haven't you? Yep. Eleanor, I know it. We have heard the stories of just how brave you are and you are an inspiration to all of us. I, I don't have any cancer. You have no more cancer. No more. Right? But you just take your, you, you, she's doing a trial to keep the cancer away, right? Yep. Yep. I have, I have two castles. Oh yeah, she, she got some castles for Christmas. No. Tell me about them. What's what? A, what kind of castles are they? They are princess ones. Princess castles. Yeah, she wants to be a princess. And so I'm already a princess. Oh, already a princess. Yep. And I I, I like prince. Yeah. I asked her today um, if she liked football. What did you say? I never. I never played football. She's like, I've never played football before. So I know you've never played football before, but I'll show you what I'm looking at right now, which is, this is where our football players play. Can you see it? Yeah. I um, get a chance to talk to amazing uh, counting kids almost every week, but I don't always get a chance to talk to the moms. So how has it been as a mom to see her um, be able to enjoy these these young years. As you said, she's now not doing as harsh of a treatment. She's a little firecracker. She's a bright light. What's it like <laughs> being uh, able to see her get that back? Um, after Eleanor relapsed and we were able to um, get her clear of cancer again, we knew that it was just so important for us to find something else that would um, keep her clear of cancer. So we found out about Dr. Scholler and the amazing work that she's been doing. And she has this trial um, called DFMO, and it just offers a lot of hope for kids like Eleanor. And we just felt like um, the trial was a perfect fit for Eleanor. So we just feel really thankful for Dr. Scholler and Levine's Children's Hospital that they were just able to offer this opportunity. And we just feel really excited that Eleanor is able to be on this trial and we hope that it'll be the answer for Eleanor, but for also many other kids too. I think it's amazing that you will share your story, that you will allow the Panthers to help share your story and let us celebrate Eleanor. I, I just think she's so cool. Like I, <laughs> getting to, to meet her and getting to meet you even for the short time has been great. Uh, she has made such an impression on me and I know that she'll make such an impression on Panthers fans um, and the team. Um, because she is exactly um, what this team, this franchise, tries to preach every day, which is, you know, no matter what comes up, um, you just gotta, you gotta keep pounding, you gotta keep going, and uh, and never lose that spark. And she has it, um, 
and I just I'm honored to meet the both of you. Well, it's been a pleasure. Eleanor um, is a tiny little thing, but her spirit and her strength is quite mighty. So I know that she inspires my family and we just, um, we also just feel so grateful that you all honor these little warriors. They really fight hard and they um, deserve the recognition because uh, with, um, to find a cure, there has to be awareness. So for teams like uh, yours to bring awareness to pediatric cancer is just amazing. You guys are amazing, Sarah. Thank you uh, for the time. Tell Eleanor I, I said goodbye. Um, I hope that we'll keep in touch. Uh, this has been this has been great. Thank you for sharing. Sure. Your story.